In the face of new and very real threats to global peace and the human survival, climate change, pandemics, mountain inequalities, uh, the spread of violent and hateful ideologies and disinformation, discrimination and xenophobia, the time has come to update this instrument. Recent and ongoing armed conflicts and wars around the world are stark reminders that so-called all threats should not be forgotten either. And so, more elaborated and new responses are needed to harness the full potential of soft power. A lot of has changed in the field of education since 1974. We have a much better scientific understanding, better knowledge of the triggers of violence and evidence of what works in education in terms of prevention strategies. We are also equipped, better equipped, with solid legal instruments an international agenda for sustainable development, and a variety of, fact, of effective mechanisms that unite a diverse community of actors around the goal on building peace through education. These tools constitute critical gains. It's very important now that we build on these achievements as we go forward and revise the recommendation. It's on this basis that progress and follow-up action will be possible. Well, as we take stock of lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic that more than ever revealed our interdependence, this work can help put the world on the path of a more peaceful, just, healthy and sustainable future.